Water Sound Club members, today we are at the Performance Center, which is designed to help players of all skill levels improve their game and enjoy the game even more. So I have a confession to make. It's been 20 years since I've hit a golf ball, which is why today, I've decided to spend some time with Ben Blaylock, who is the Director of Instruction at the Camp Creek Performance Center. Ben, happy to have you here. You've Thanks. made a big impact on a lot of members, all skill levels. That's nice to hear. Um, I'm happy to be here. We, our family loves it in the area. We've been here about two years now and just we're fitting in and Perfect. loving where we are. Great. Well, show me mm -hmm. how you go about teaching a lesson. Yeah, so you just have to get thrown in the deep end of the pool. Okay. So we're going to start off and see what you do. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to start with some shots and see right. what happens when you swing. Perfect. Okay. So good news, you hit the ball, <laughs> right? So that's, that's the first goal, right? So when you think about it, right, what do you touch when you play a golf shot? What does Vicky touch? The club. Correct. And the yes. club's touching the ball. Correct. So, so from now, from there, we're going to start working on the grip. Hold the club up this way with your right hand. That middle crease will go right along the side of the club there. You're going to curl your fingers and perfect. Okay. Club head end is toward you. Now we'll do the same on your left hand. Okay. Curl the fingers and place the thumb here, just like you've got it there. Okay. Now this is the really sneaky part or the key piece of this whole thing is we just now slide this hand down so that it fits here. Bring it on down. Keep going. Keep going. So that this thumb fits into the pocket left Ooh. here inside your hand. So it won't quite fit. Did you ever get, have tea parties when you were a little girl? Yes. Okay, so what do you do with your pinky finger when you're sipping tea? You lift your pinky. Lift your pinky. Now slide your hand down further. Now the thumb fits right into that pocket that. and the pinky just lays over. All right. Perfect. So that's the correct grip. Okay. But remember, your focus is on the club, not the ball. Focus is on the club. Okay. I have confidence in myself and a ton of confidence in Ben. If I can learn how to do this, anybody can. I think I knew I wanted to teach golf when I was about 11 or 12 years wow. old. Um, but at that time, that was the 80s there was no clear-cut path. You, the only way to do it was to be an ex-Division I college player. So I felt locked out of that when I didn't play in college. So it was like, okay, I'm not gonna be a golf pro. Well, over the years, between then and, and that, that later time, there became defined pathways to do it professionally, to teach. And so I got back into golf to pursue my career. If you're retiring, wanna get back into playing golf, start slow, play the par three course at Origins, right. You know, come for a club fitting, get some new clubs. That'll inspire you to, to sure. get out on the weekends and practice or come out on a weekday morning and hit balls. Right. And then build up your skill set. I'm happy to provide guidance to anybody that wants to do that. Perfect. We offer golf schools for couples. We offer ladies golf clinics every single Saturday morning at 11. Perfect. Um, we have junior programs for the kids, but if that's not applicable for you, there's there's plenty of other programming that can get your fire burning again. It takes a little practice. Sure. But hopefully you're not feeling overwhelmed with too much no, information. No, no. What a Good. great foundation. What an awesome yeah. start. Awesome. So exciting. Thank great job. you very you much. It. I will be back. Sounds I hope good. our members will too. Come on out. Posture looks great, Vicki. All right, here we go. Ready to swing. If you want to hit like that, contact Ben.